now that we understand how to define, D define DCID to our trainees, let's talk about how it applies when we're going around our four formations and we're explaining what dress cover interval and distance and the two responsibilities they have in each one of those formations. You know I love acronyms here, so now we've got a new acronym to learn when we're talking about DCID. It's called F Gibbler, F G B L R. All this is, is how we break down DCID to the trainees in each one of the four formations. So remember, I stood my first two, as soon as I was done with my definitions, I stood my first two trainees up. I said, turn 90 degrees to the right. What formation does that put us in, Sergeant Jones? If we're in line, I stand you up, turns you 90 degrees to the right. Outstanding answer, column formation. It puts us in column formation. So in column formation, I'm gonna begin my F Gibbler practice. I've moved my lesson plans out of the way. I'm gonna begin my F Gibbler process. So what is F? F is formation. It's the first thing I have to tell the trainees. Anytime I move them to a new formation, I gotta say my F first. The formation that we're in right now, trainees, is column formation. In column formation, everyone has two responsibilities. And then I move down to my G. Who does my G stand for? Guide on bear. The guide on bear, guide on bear, you have two responsibilities in column formation. Your responsibilities in column formation are direction and rate of march. And I wrote these over here on the board as we go through these, just pay attention to these, because no matter what formation we're in, these will never change. So if you look at the paperwork, it looks like, oh, that's a whole bunch of stuff I have to remember. But really, if you can just remember every formation, I'm gonna go through these, and when I get there, I'm gonna tell them the same thing. You're gonna be good to go all the time. So the guide on bear, I'm saying the formation we're in right now is column formation. In column formation, everyone has two responsibilities. Guide on bear, your responsibility is direction and rate of march. Now the way I personally do this is I'll, I'll have direct the person who I'm talking to to raise their hands. That way they, I know that they know who I'm talking to them. Guide on bear, raise your hand. Great, guide on bear, you're responsible for direction and rate of march. Put your hand down and take a knee. Now I move down to my B. If there's nobody to your right, put your hand up. Now, that typically would be the fourth element, right? The fourth element would be the ones putting their hand up. But I don't personally like to say fourth element, put your hand up. And I'll get to that as we get to the last formation that we'll talk about in line formation. In line formation, it'll get you in trouble if you say, if you start calling people by elements. So let's just talk about this. If there's nobody to your right, put your hand up. So now my base file, everybody in the fourth element's got their hands up. And I say, base file, you have two responsibilities in column formation as well. Your responsibilities in column formation are gonna be establishing distance and maintaining cover. Let's look over here, right here. We got DCID, dress, in cover are talking about what? Alignment. Alignment. So anytime we're aligning something, we're dress or cover, we always maintain alignment. Interval and distance are talking about what? Distance between the two. We're talking about what? Space. Space. Anytime we're talking about space, we establish something. So if we're talking about interval or distance, we're talking about space and we establish that. So when I'm talking to my baseball and I tell them what their responsibilities are, baseball, you are responsible for establishing distance and maintaining cover. All right? Now I'm gonna move down. I'm gonna say baseball, put your hands down, take a knee. So now I've got my leading individual still standing and remaining individual still standing. So I would refer to my, who are my leading individuals in column formation? Um, well, let's see, that's the thing. Everyone says the element leaders, but is my fourth element leader, is he part of the base file or is he a leading individual? He's part of the base file. He's part of the base file in column formation. So he is, I can't say element leaders put your hands up because now my fourth element leader is gonna put his hand up and he's gonna get the two, the two wrong responsibilities here. But actually my first, second, and third element leader are leading individuals, that's it. 
my base file, my fourth element leader, he just had his hand up because I said, if there's nobody to your right, put your hand up. My leading individuals have different responsibilities. My leading individual, I'm saying, if there's nobody standing in front of you, so get out, get rid of the verbiage element leader. If there's nobody standing in front of you, put your hands up. So my first, second, and third element leader are gonna put their hands up. Leading individuals. These are my leading individuals. Leading individuals have two responsibilities as well. Leading individuals' responsibilities is to gonna be to what interval? Establish. Establish interval because we're talking about spacing and what dress? and maintain dress and I have to tell them where they're maintaining dress to. So is this to the right or to the base file? Base file. Yep. So I'm going to tell them that leading individuals, you have two responsibilities. Your responsibilities are to establish interval and to maintain dress towards the right or to your base file. Leading individuals, put your hands down and take a knee. Now I hit my R and my F giveler. If I have not called on you yet, put your hand up. Now my remaining individuals are the only ones standing and they're the only ones with their hands up. Remaining individuals, you have two responsibilities in this formation as well. Your responsibility is going to be to what? Establish dress. Uh oh, we're talking about alignment here. We maintain dress. Yep. And we what cover? Establish. Uh oh, cover. Oh, we maintain. We maintain and maintain. So remaining individuals always maintain and maintain. These are the only two that you have to establish something and maintain something. So when we're thinking about it, once you get down to remaining individuals, you're always excited. You're like, all right, man, I just got to maintain cover, maintain dress. We always maintain cover and maintain dress. Okay. Now I'm going to tell my remaining individuals, remaining individuals, put your hands down. Everybody stand up, turn 90 degrees to the right. Let's draw my formation here. Here's my guide. I got an element leader, element leader, element leader, element leader, and then my dorm chief at the end. I just talked to him right here. There's the MTI. And I was just talking to him right here. I had him in column formation. They're facing this direction. Now I say, everybody stand up, turn 90 degrees to the right. Inverted. So now I'm in inverted what formation? Inverted line formation. Inverted line formation. They're facing this direction right here. And now I start my process all over again. So what did I have to say for my F? No one is to your right. Well, what's the F stand for? Formation. Trainees, the formation that you're in right now. So remember, I start out every okay. single one of them by telling them what formation they're in. Okay. okay. And that's why we got our F gibbler. So it just puts it in our brain what we have to say each formation. The formation that you're in right now is inverted line formation. In inverted line formation, everyone has two responsibilities. Who am I going to talk to first? The guide. Guide on bear. Guide on bear. Put your hand up. You have two responsibilities in this formation. Your responsibilities are what? Uh, direction. And direction. Now I'm not asking him that. I'm telling him that. I'm just asking you so that you get the concept. Guide on bear. Your responsibilities are direction and rate of march. Put your hand down and take a knee. So now he's got his knee on the ground. Who do I talk to next? Oh, here, who do I talk to next? Face file. How do I say that? If there's nobody? If, no, if there's nobody to your right, you are in the base file. Okay, we're inverted now. No. Anytime there's we're in, in front of you. So if there's nobody in front of you, we're talking about somebody who's leading something. So if we're, remember, okay. dress, is gonna to go to the right or left. Anytime your formation is inverted, dress will be to the left, which means the base file is to the left. Anytime we're in a regular formation, column or line, dress goes to the right. We're smiling right now, Sergeant Jones. We, we got this? Yes, sir. Does it make sense? Yes, sir. Okay. So now we're inverted. I'm talking to my base file here. How do I say them? How do I say that? Dress, we're inverted, which means dress is to the left at this point. So I'm gonna say, if there's nobody to your left, put your hands up. All right, remember before when we were in column, I said, if there's nobody to your right, now I'm an inverted line. So that tells me dress is to the left. If there's nobody to your left, put your hands up. Who should be raising their hands at this point? The second 
second, third, and first, second, third elements and the guide. So the guide already gave him two responsibilities. He's on his knee. But you are 100% correct by saying the first, second, and third element leader are the ones that put their hands up. Cool. He can't because he's got nobody in front of him making him a leading individual. All right, but these three, first, second, and third element leader, and that's where we get into problems once again because we say element leaders, put your hands up, you're the base file. Nope, element leaders are not the base file. The first, second, and third element leader are the base file. What are the base file's responsibilities? Uh, establish establishing and maintain cover. And establishing distance and maintaining cover. Outstanding. They're always the same, they never change. The people who hold those positions change but the responsibilities of those positions never do. So every single time I'm gonna say, I just have to know who to call out. That's really all I have to do is know who to call out. If there's nobody to your left, put your hands up. Great, you're the base file. Base file, you have two responsibilities. Your responsibilities are to establish distance and maintain your cover. Put your hands down and take a knee. How do I say the leading individuals? How do I call them out? You said it just a little while ago, Sergeant Jones. If there's, nobody in front of you, if there's nobody in front of you, put your hands up. Anytime there's nobody in front of somebody, that means they're a leading individual. If there's nobody in front of you, put your hands up. So now my whole fourth element right here puts their hands up. What did, got him, Barry, he's not part of that. But the whole fourth element puts their hands up. And then I say the same verbiage I said last time. Leading individuals, you have uh, two responsibilities. Your responsibilities are to? Establish interval, what do I have Maintain to do? Maintain dress. Maintain dress and establish interval. Maintain dress and establish interval. Put your hands down, leading individuals, take a knee. If I haven't called on you yet, put your hands up. You are the, you are the, John Rosales, you are the remaining individuals. Remaining individuals have two responsibilities. Your responsibilities are to what? Maintain dress and cover. Maintain dress and maintain cover. Outstanding. Now, I've already talked about everyone in this formation, so remaining individuals, put your hands down. Everybody stand up, turn 90 degrees to the right. All right, that's me if you didn't know, the campaign hat. All right, so now my flight is facing this direction, and I have to start from the top, so what do I tell them? The formation that you're in right now is inverted column formation. And inverted, now I, the next one I have to go to is the guide, right? But the guide, in this formation, it's the only time it's different with your guide. So I say, the formation you're in right now is inverted column formation. In inverted column formation, guide on bear, your responsibilities transfer to the last training in the fourth elements, typically the dorm chief. The last train in the fourth element is now responsible for direction and rate of march. Everyone tracking? Right. Good. Now, think about the way I phrased that right there. God on bear, your responsibilities transfer to the last training in the fourth element, typically the dorm chief. Why would I not want to say the last, uh, your responsibilities transfer to the dorm chief? not always the case. Dorm chief might be at an appointment, might be somewhere. So whoever this last person is in the fourth element needs to understand that they're the ones that are responsible for direction and rate of march. Or let's just say we're halted in inverted column formation and I give the command cover. Is that last training in the fourth element going to take short and choppy steps? No, because he needs to understand that's not what he does anymore. He's the last training in the fourth element. So that's how I refer to him. Hey, God, I'm bear in inverted column formation. Your responsibilities transfer to the last training in the fourth element, typically the dorm chief. The last train of the fourth element is now responsible for direction and rate of march. And then I move along. If there, y'all tell me, if there's nobody where? If there's, no, if there's nobody to your left, you are the base file. Yep, put your hands up. If there's nobody to your left, put your hands up. You are the base file. So who's got their hands up right now? The whole fourth element. The whole fourth element has their hands up. My, does my guy have, my guy, the one with the staff, does he have his hand up? He does, right? So this one right here, he's taking a knee right now. 
I told him what his job was. He's now responsible for direction of march. He's taking a knee. But now even my guy, he's part of the base file now. So he should have his hands up. That may be something that you have to tell him today. Why don't you have your hand up? You're responsible, or you're the base file. You're responsible for maintaining cover and establishing <laughs> distance. Maintaining cover and establishing distance. Put your hands down, take a knee, base file. Someone take this for me. How do I say that? If, if nobody is in front of you, you are the leading individual. Outstanding. If there's nobody in front of you, put your hands up. Outstanding job. You are the leading individuals. Who's the leading individuals in this case right here? First, second, third, and then. The first, second, and third. These ones or these ones? The last trainee in each element? Correct. Yeah. Yep, the last trainee in each element. You are leading individuals. Leading individuals, you have two responsibilities. Your responsibilities are what? Establishing interval, maintaining dress. Establishing interval, maintaining dress. Leading individuals, put your hands down. Take a knee. How do I say it? If you're still standing, you are my remaining individuals. Your remaining individuals. Remaining individuals establish, uh, uh, maintain, maintain dress and maintain clothes. There you go. Now you got to say you're maintaining, maintain. All right. Maintain times two. Now what do I do after I'm done? I've talked about everybody in inverted column formation. Now what do I got to do? Everybody stand up. Everybody stand up. Turn where? 90 degrees to your right. Turn 90 degrees to the right. What do I say? The formation that you're in you're, that is uh, in line formation. Yep, the formation that you're in is in line formation. My guide on bear posts at this point. Guide on bear, you are responsible for direction and rate of march. Guide on bear, you're responsible for direction and rate of march. If there's nobody to your, which direction? Right. To your right, put your hands up. You are my base file. Who's got their hands up right now? Second, third, and fourth. Second, third. Say that again? Second, third, and fourth. The second, third, and fourth, yes. Because okay. he's got the oh, guy standing to his right, right now. Okay, okay. So second, third, and fourth, you are my base file. Base file, you have two responsibilities. Your responsibilities are direction, or I'm sorry, your two responsibilities are establishing distance and maintaining cover. That's what these ones are doing. They're establishing distance behind the person in front of them and maintaining cover. If there's nobody where? In front of you, put your hands up. You are my leading individuals. Now, yeah, so he's already got, the guy's already got his job, so he's on his knee. But here's where we get in the problem. Remember I said earlier, get out of the habit of calling people by elements when you're telling them to put their hands up. Here's where you get into problems right here. Because we said if there's, if I were to say, who, who's got their hands up right now? If I'm talking about leading individuals, who's got, which element has their hands up? The first one, we're not talking about the guy on bear, so the first element's got their hands up. But if I were to say, if there's nobody standing in front of you, who else would have their hand up? The last, the this the dorm chief right here would have his hand up because he's got nobody in front of him right here. Right. And so when I say first element, put your hands up, I'm excluding this one right here. But he should have his hand up too, because if any time there's nobody in front of you, it makes you a leading individual. So even though he's way over here in the fourth element, he's still a leading individual. He's still got the responsibilities of a leading individual. His responsibilities right now would be to establish interval and maintain dress. So I can't get into the habit of calling people by, by elements because it's gonna hose me over either by calling element leaders, telling all of them to put their hands up when I'm talking about base files, or it's gonna hurt me when I get over here to line formation and I, I miss this person right here. They're a leading individual. But I say leading individual, put your hand, if there's nobody standing in front of you, put your hand up. You are a leading individual, leading individuals. You have two responsibilities. Those responsibilities are to establish interval and to maintain dress towards the right to your base file. Remember, I always have to tell them where they're dressing to. And then after that, if put your hands down, take a knee. Uh, 
If I have not called on you yet, you are remaining individuals, remaining individuals. You have two responsibilities. Your responsibilities are to maintain dress and to maintain cover. Everybody stand up. And at that point, I get into actual application of the class.